Hi folks, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. This is Cracker321, boom. Um, this is a new story that um, I believe happened yesterday, uh, dealing with a high school closed after four students got shot. I really wish I could say this is a surprise, but at this point, it's not even a surprise anymore. It's really just um, very disturbing. So, um, without further ado, this is less than two minutes long. Um, let's just see what Eyewitness News Channel 7 has to say about it. And hit play. A frightening and violent day in the city of Newburgh in Orange County. Four teenagers were shot on a street yesterday afternoon. All of them are expected to survive their injuries. Look at this. But the shootings forced the closure of a local high school. Now it is news reporter Mark. And this is in Orange County, New Marcus. York. It was, it's mm. unclear if those victims were targeted or just part of a large group that had gathered after school. But as a Sad. precaution, yes, high schools mm. in Newburgh were closed today. Now, yeah, I wonder why. What do you think? In the cell phone video, it sends over a dozen kids scrambling, trying to get away. Now, another clip shows two of the two kids are laying down ground. on the ground. One was hit in the leg, the other in the stomach. Four teens in all were shot, but all are expected to survive. This happened around 3.30 yesterday afternoon on William Street. Today there was a bit of a police presence. An Look at this kid presence. limping. Another clip blood covering his sneaker. That took place in broad daylight. There's Did one you? of them firing a gun. Limping up the block with a bloody sneaker, and then that he is followed by another person firing two shots. How is this productive at all? What are they even proving? Them being so young, that was heartbreaking. You know what I mean? That hit us more than anything. Like. We just, our heart breaks for them. I don't even want to cry right now. Because, <laughs> you know, I have a son who's 11. Yeah. And I'm thinking he could have been... I got a daughter the around the same age. And thank God she ain't doing out. any of this. Superintendent of schools, the mayor, to see what measures being taken. None available for comment. And why should they be available for comment? They don't even know what to say at this point. <sighs> All I can say is our youth are, our youth are killing each other, and I'm not sure what the politicians are going to do about it. Let's see what the new mayor does about it. Um, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I mean, there's no other word for it because it's like, when did when did school become a battlefield? I mean, if you like firing guns so much, you know what? When you're 18, enlist in the service. Once you get through boot camp, you will be able to fire all the guns you want at the discretion of the sergeant or whatever title person is in charge. And then take that aggression, go to another country, fire the bullets there. You know? Why kill each other? Why destroy your neighborhood? I mean, at the end of the day, and I'm sure a lot of parents and a lot of people would agree, this is stupid. It's sad. It's stupid. And it's just gotten worse. I mean, with the progression of this year and with everything going on, which started back last year, um, the prices are going up. Food is going up. Violence has gone up, whether it's on the subways, the schools, the highways. It's really amazing. And not too long ago, not to make light of this, I heard on a news broadcast that certain, let's say, retail fashion brands are no longer going to be supplying their clothing to places like Marshalls, Burlington Coat Factory, and one of them that's going to stop is Polo. So, and what's the reason? They're losing money. Polo is losing money. No, what's losing is our youth. What's losing 
is these kids who feel they can do whatever they want to do. Uh, they see someone else with something, oh, well, I want it. I'll either hurt them, beat them to a pulp, or just kill them to get it. And it's not all kids, but this is happening throughout the country. You can't say it's one state. You can't say it's one type of race of kid because it's happening. Every state has neighborhoods that are ghettos. And ghettos are not defined by one nationality of people. Ghettos are defined by mixed nationalities of people. And within those neighborhoods, you have good, and then you have really bad. And when the bad strikes, it is heartbreaking. Um, I'm really sorry for those kids. Hopefully they all pulled through and, um, it's just disgusting. It really is. You're not safe on the subway. You're not safe to shop. I remember earlier this year, a guy was in a car trying to get away from police. He literally took the car, ran it on top of a crowded pedestrian sidewalk, didn't care who he hit or killed. To get away from cops. It's bad out there. It really is. Well, that's my insight on it. Um, definitely leave a comment. Subscribe. If you are a subscriber, make sure you hit the bell icon. You always know when I upload new things. Even if you don't do that, I'll tell you face to camera. <laughs> um, I upload every day. Um, I don't do a lot of reactions, but I make sure to get reactions in. I do a lot of video shorts, and, um, you know, I hope everyone has a safe and good Thanksgiving. I'm off. I'm grateful for that, and I know I'll be home. Um, I know my daughter will be away, and God willing, she's going to be safe where she's headed. And um, that's about it. You can find me on social media. Listen, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, in that order, forward slash way2712, Twitter, at Crow with an E, 11700, and of course, Instagram, at Ron402513. I want to give a personal shout out to all the subscribers, especially the new subscribers, I did start putting up certain video shorts of um, celebrating different cultures in terms of uh, you have gay, you have lesbian, and how that's beginning to transcend over to comic books and things like that and how that changes the face of certain things. Um, a lot of you liked the first video short I did. Thank you so much. I mean, I did not expect that at all. And thanks to the new subscribers, too. As I said back in October, I'm really making this channel something for everyone. Someone can get something out of it. I appreciate all the feedback. And um, remember, I've only been doing this not even two months. Granted, I have one copyright strike, but um, I'm going to get through that. I'm going to ride that out. It, I, I, it's going to be taken care of in early February. It'll be gone. And uh, I'm going to keep moving forward. Um, if you get a chance when you look at this, check out some of my other videos. I believe there's something for everybody. From movie trailers to news broadcasts to video shorts to videos that I make, just videos of reflection. You just want to sit back and take a breather for a minute and just look at something that's pretty cool. It's there for you. Uh, take care. God bless. Stay safe. And um, happy holidays to all of you. This is Cracker321. Boom. Signing off. Peace.